Dave Palumbo here for Muscle Serpents Daily, and we're going to go in and we're going to look at some IMG boas. That's right, increasing melanistic gene boas. That means as the boa ages, that gene makes that, that snake get blacker and blacker. And of course, there's certain genes that will prevent the snake from getting totally black. Hypogene, because it removes melanin. Albino, can, takes away all the melanin. So you get different things going on. So instead of the snake getting blacker and blacker, especially in albino, you see a darker and darker pattern without the black in there. Uh, some genes enhance it. You put motley in there, you get a blacker snake. So we're gonna take a look at a, a cool clutch that I have and uh, that will be available on Morph Market with a couple different combinations and you tell me which ones you like best. Let's take a look. Now this gorgeous female from that litter is definitely IMG Motley. This would be 100% head sharp, 66% head annery, and I'm pretty sure this is hypo too. So this would be a hypo motley. You see a nice striped tail. Look at that red tail. That's the hypo gene there. And this is definitely IMG. Look at how dark it's starting to get. The saddles are darkening up. The head is darkening up. This won't turn completely black because that hypo gene will not allow that. The great thing about this snake is that it's 100% head albino, sharp albino with that which is good because if you breed this female, you can produce sharp stuff and you can produce non-sharp stuff, which is great because a lot of people want the black snake. They want the dark, you know, heavy contrasted IMG stuff. And in the albino, you definitely see it. We're gonna see it in this next snake when you have an albino IMG. But, you know, people like black. I love black. I love a good black snake. I even like a, a snake that doesn't turn completely black, but it has a lot of black in it. And this snake is, you like heavy contrast and blackness, and then you also have that red to go with it. Woof! This is the snake you gotta get. And this is incredible. This is an IMG sharp albino for sure. You can see how dark the saddles are. And look at the, look at the head spear if I can get up there with that. These snakes ate yesterday, that's why I'm not taking them out. Really, really nice, distinct, um, pattern on this thing. So we know that albino removes the blacks, so you're not going to see it blacking out, but you're going to see the reds, you know, and, and the browns tremendously on this as it gets older and gets darker. And just really nice looking, crazy looking pattern here. This is, this is a really, really nice snake. And it shows a lot of contrast, and it's never going to lose this contrast because of that IMG gene in it. Look at that nice pink tongue, too. Really nice sharp albino. And it's 66% head hannery. So 66% head snow. Now, the question is, is it, is it a hypo, too? Is this a sun glow? I don't know. I don't think so. It's hard for me to tell on this one. I'm sure some of you guys out there might tell me yes or no, but I don't, I don't see any white outlining or anything like that. Or on its tail, so I'm, I'm calling this just an IMG sharp albino. That's 66% head anery. All right, here's a really nice, once again, sharp albino, IMG. Now this one I think is hypo. I think this one's a sun glow. You see more, much more lighter pattern here. The other one that we just saw was, was much darker. I should really take these guys outside. The lighting in here is not doing these guys justice, but. This is, look at that head spear. Look how, how defined that head spear is and the patterning, really, really nice. At first, I wasn't even sure if it was an IMG, to be honest with you. But then, as it got older, it's getting darker and darker. And that's when I really was pretty confident that this is IMG. So, and this is 66% head anery as well. All right. Let's look at this girl here, or this boy, I should say, is a little, a little excited. This is a hypo IMG. No, no motley in here. He's 100% head sharp albino, and he's 66% head anery. And he's mad today. I don't know what he's so mad about. <laughs> he's got a lot of nice pattern on him. Once again, a lot of contrast. He started getting dark and darker. Um, He's, he's, he's probably gotten 20% darker in the last, I'd say, what, maybe six weeks or so. Um, as they get bigger, they're going to get darker. Let's see if we can get him to strike at the uh, camera here. <laughs> Trying to get behind him here so we can see what he looks like. You can see the hypo in the lower part of his body here. Uh, 
once again, these guys used to eight, so I don't want to really disturb them too much, but I just wanted to get them on camera. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna sort of list a lot of these guys on, on Warp Market, so I want to see them. Not happy, though. It, it's, oh, it's, it's only the boys. <laughs> the girls were good today. If you look at the lower portion, though, of his body, you can see how nice and, and red that tail area is. Even with the IMG gene, the hypo gene will keep some of that body from getting black. So he's gonna get very black, but he's not gonna get completely black. Which I think a lot of people, I, I kind of like that. I mean, I, lo I love a jet black snake. Um, when you put Motley IMG together, you pretty much get a black snake unless, you, if you have hypo and you don't have that IMG, except if you don't have that Motley in there, you're gonna get a mostly black snake. And that's, that's my experience, at least with these. So, really nice head spear. A lot of darkness. You can see all that, that black graininess coming in. That's going to all solidify and make one big black snake. All right, let's take a look at this guy. This this might be one of my this might be my favorite from the litter. I don't keep saying this, but um, this is a what I believe to be a super hypo anery, 100% head sharp albino IMG. So this would be a super ghost. Um, and as you can tell, the you know super hypo is going to definitely make it very hard for that IMG gene to express its blackness. But you can see that, look at all that black speckling everywhere. <laughs> look at all the black speckling on this, especially on the head. It's definitely IMG and it's definitely anery. You can see that anery gene in there. There's no reds at all, especially in the tail. Look at that. Um, it almost looks purple. And then the, high, the, the IMG gene is trying to come through, but it just cannot do so because of the fact that um, that super hypogene, or the two copies of the hypogene are there inhibiting that. And this would make this, this snake really look really cool. Can you imagine as, the, as more black comes in, because it's never going to be completely black, but it's going to get like black, you know, saturation through it. And you're going to still have those really clean areas that the super hypogene really created. And you see, you can see that. I get closer, but the snake is not happy, obviously. The boys, I told you, it's all the males today. They're not cooperating. The females are really good. Look at that, look at that eye. <laughs> it's got like a silver eye with like that dark black pupil. And that's that that's not the cover shot, I don't know what it is right there. So I'm thinking about keeping him, but you know what? I can't keep everything. So you'll probably see these all these snakes on Morph Market in the next week or so. Alright, and here's the last snake uh, in the litter, which might be one of the nicest actually. This is a motley sharp albino female that I believe it is uh, IMG. I'm really seeing a lot of stuff popping here. I really have to wait and see. Even the tail, look at the tail, how defined that thing is. I know motley does that too, because motley's a darker morph. But I'm going to have to wait. I, I, I'm almost tentative to sell this girl because I think she's going to turn out to be IMG. Once again, she has a lot of cool contrast going on, more so than in, in other IMG albinos that I've produced. So I, I tend, look at this, look how dark this is here. You know, I really think that she's IMG Motley albino and of course 66% head anery. See how nice the females have been today? I don't know, it's just, it's, the males are cranky today. Very, very cranky. And I really like this snake. This thing's really beautiful. Motley and albinos go really nice together anyway. I think I think that's probably one of the most popular combos, I would say. Because Motley is dark. You know, it's a dark morph. And when you put a dark morph into albino, you take away the black, you still have a lot of contrast there. And that's, you know, it's an appealing look, obviously. You want a snake that, everyone loves albinos, but if you can have an albino that shows a lot of different interesting stuff going on. But look at this, this purple saturation in here. That's what really makes me believe that it's IMG because it's getting darker and more purpley as it gets older. So I tend to believe that this is going to prove out. All right, here's one of my big grow up girls. This girl's awesome. I almost sold her a couple of years ago. I produced her here at Palumbo's Pythons and Boas and her mom is my big black uh, female that I have and she's getting pretty big and black herself. She is a IMG het call albino. There's no motley in her, and that's why she's not totally jet black. And she's just exquisite. Look at that face. Look at the black tongue. Look at that eye. 
yet she's not completely black and she's pretty big. She, she might even breed this season, but she's got just enough of that speckling in there that kind of makes her kind of interesting, you know? Uh, I like a jet black snake, but sometimes you, it's pretty cool to have a snake that's almost jet black and just has a lot of character to them. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. I hope you really enjoyed the, uh, the look at the IMG boa litter. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me about that. It's time I finally put the thing up. Hopefully, <laughs> probably when I first put this uh, video up, it won't even go up on Morph Market for a couple of days or maybe till next week. But if you guys want to hit me up, if you like a specific snake, feel free to reach out to me. It's a really cool gene project, and I, I'm still just getting my feet wet with this. I'm, st I'm starting to really produce some good stuff. Hopefully, this coming season will produce some nice IMG stuff. My big IMG man female didn't go this year for some reason. I don't know. Hopefully, she'll go next season. That's the, that's the goal, at least. All right, guys, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications. Hit the like button. We'll see you back tomorrow morning.